Right, okay. Right, so um, I have been asked to do a video by my wife, the boss, of this lovely BMW. Now, she has gone and started it, which I don't agree with because it makes people think, why have they started it? Why are they getting it warm? Does it cough and splutter and smoke from cold? She doesn't listen. Oh, there you go. Anyway, right, so this one we used to go on holiday in we didn't actually go on holiday we went to the um we went to uh, greece and we used this one to uh um go to the airport in because it was a bloody nice car and it is a bloody there's my wife there look there she is bossy boots all right fanny Annie. good um so it's still got half a tank of diesel in it because I kind of overshot the diesel estimate estimation. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, let's get it in the right position and then we can have a proper walk round and a proper little chat about all of the good stuff and the bad stuff. Right, so bad stuff. Would you believe we got to the um, holiday airport and it's that park and they go and park it for you and then dropped it off and when we come to pick it up guess what some arsewipe had broken my handbrake switch look so we'll put a new one of those in because uh, it's not functioning it's all wibbly wobbly they must have pulled it too hard or something i don't know so obviously we'll fix that so at the moment currently the handbrake doesn't work and the tire pressure monitoring thing which is a waste of time is saying that the tire is is flat which it could well be um but i mean let's be honest with you do you really need it no you don't um you see that thing there start stop you can switch that off by pressing that button i advise anybody to do that because your car is not designed to turn itself off and start itself back on again up every 30 seconds that you're in a traffic jam stupid puts added wear on your um crank it puts wear on your starter and your battery. Now the battery is a special battery, so they say it's not. It's basically the same, um, but uh, they they charge way too much money for it. There's the satellite navigation working. This is all controlled down here. Let me press your media. Ooh, there's my phone. Better not connect to that. Go back and um, oh, what was I going to show you? Options. Was it this one here? Oh no, not on the map. We go back that way. Go that way. Radio. Oh yeah, so you've got vehicle information and vehicle settings. So um, you can control all your speed limiter and and whatnot. Eco Pro mode. I don't know what speed does? Somebody's ringing me from Camberley, England. I've nowhere. I no idea where that. Oh, warning at four mile an hour. <laughs> warning or i suppose that goes bing or something silly like that right so this center resting it seems to not click in it goes there i don't know how fussy you are well you know we can have a look at that i don't know why it just doesn't go like it like you think it would now the bonnet release on bmws they do a two thing a two pull see that times two this is how it works pull once one and then two and a bling goes to say that the bonnet's open, which is nice. And then you can come over here and have a look at stuff that you do not understand or recognize. Hold on a minute, hold on. If I ever become, like if Charlie abdicates and um, is no longer king, I will make it law that the oofa doofa thing to open the bonnet is um, in one place. Now, you will notice not a shiny uh, plastic engine anywhere to be in sight. Why do you ask? Because when I go around other car dealers, their engines look immaculate and new. Well, that's because they get a ruddy great big power jet wash thing and some moron comes along and jet washes your engine to death um, to uh, clean it, to make it look presentable. But what that does, I mean, obviously we'll blow the leaves off, but what that does, is, well look if i put your laptop under there 
and said, I'm going to jet wash the engine, you'd go, no, don't do it, even your phone. All these things here are electrical devices, alternator, various sensors. A lot of cars nowadays have the ECUs tucked underneath here as well, which is the computer. So by jet washing them, you are uh, running the risk of frying the system. So they, yes, it's dirty, but that's normal. There's no oil leaks, no nastiness, no nasty sounds. Everything's there as it should be. You see a car that's got a shiny engine in it, it's been jet washed and the chances are it will cause problems for you later down the line. So are there any marks on the bodywork? Well, as a whole, as you would look at it, you would say, well, that's a pretty car. And it is a pretty car, so it's a lovely color actually. It's like a pearl, I don't know whether you can get it on this camera, on the phone, but it's, it's like a metallic pearly white. It's a beautiful um, color. Oh, so you're looking at it now, and we're going to point out the bad bits so you can see them just in case you decide to buy it and not come to view it. There are lots of people buy without viewing. It's amazing how many people buy without viewing actually nowadays. Um, and this video kind of helps because I'm not frightened to point out the bad stuff. It is what it is. Right, so bonnet. These aren't chips, these are because it's parked there in the hedge, or well, not in it, but by the hedge, that's that. So we've not really got any stone chips on there to see. And the bumper's got a tiny little mark there, and some very superficial-like scratching there. And I noticed that the same on this side, there. Nope, it hasn't got front parking sensors, so that explains why. Uh, now, in terms of tyres and brakes and things like that, we don't tend to worry too much about that because when we do an MOT, my wife does the MOT, she's so strict, that's why I haven't got this tarmac because I can't afford it, because I'm forever having to repair and change things. So straight away, I can see the brake discs on this have got a lip on them. So no doubt they would be an advisory. Yes, they would. And what will happen is my wife will say, we can't let it go out like that. And I will say, no dear, we can't let it go out that. And then we'll end up putting new discs and pads on it. And the same happens for the rears and suspension and all sorts of different weird and wonderful things that she finds. So we do the advisories, which is very rare in the garage trade. Bloody doors locked. Because they don't tend to do the advisories. Now, there is a party trick. It's not that special now, but I still find it exciting. I think it's nice. There's height adjustment on the seat. Sorry, it's not electric, but you haven't earned enough money. Um, so that's why you haven't got an electric one. You can press this button. Ta -da! Look at that, okay? Simple things, please simple minds. So we've got a nice boot with a um, charging point for your fridge. And if you press this button, this is even better. Let's get rid of this. I hope it works now I've built it up. That was the first party trick, right? The next party trick, hang on a minute, is this, I don't know why it does that, but it, oh, it's parking sensors. Right, where are we? See this button here? Are you ready? I'm gonna push it. Are you ready? Watch this. You, oh, let's move that. Let's move that out of the way so we can get a proper going of it. Okay, are you ready? Watch this now, you're gonna be amazed. Oh, you think that's good? Wait until you see this one. This is a double, right? Look at that. Come on, the bloody centre one stayed Ah, oh, I know why the centre one stayed up. Ah, the door is unlocked. Oh, unlock the door. The, I uh, put the armrest in. I put the armrest right, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's reset. Let's reset. Oh, I don't know how you do that. How do you do that? Oh, we can't re- Hang on a minute. That goes down like that. There, oh! He's stuck, must need a bit more use. So there you go, look at that. You will be the envy of your street. You will, I'm serious, people will be going, have you seen them with their BMW? What, what, love? They can press a button, their seats fold flat. Why haven't I got that on my car? I don't know, dear. I just couldn't, I couldn't get it. I couldn't, it was too much. Anyway. Back to the boot. Press the button and it closes. Just like that. Twinkle! Sit. Sit. 
there. Twinkle, come here, sunshine. So, that my son, that's us there, will now hopefully appear from his slumber as a 15 year old. I know he said yes, so he's acknowledged that I need his assistance, which means it could be an hour by the time he gets, uh, he gets here. We've got literally two minutes. Where is he? Kids. Anyway, while we're in here, so we've got climate control, air conditioning, that definitely works because I know I've used it and it's nice and cold. Um, oh yeah, well, I mean, I've mentioned this, obviously we'll sort that out, but they are a pain in the neck because inside your wheel, you have there a sensor. Sid, come on, sunshine. Just come and hold this video for your dad. Um, you have a computer, like a little chip that tells the computer what the wheel, vehicle pressure is. Now you imagine a, a, a little computer chip being spanned round in a wheel with the blinking bumps that we've got in our roads. Well, obviously what happens is your speed, here, yeah, hold that sunshine, your speed bump, your, um, what's it called? Your speed bumps and potholes. We're gonna go for a drive now. Your speed bumps and potholes, no cracks in the screen or anything like that, bang against your wheel, and then before you know it, your sensor's coming on. So here we go. I mean, this doesn't really get you a feel, but hopefully if I shut up long enough for you to be able to actually listen, um, you'll know that, well, you'll know it drives. And also, you'll know that it's not going, ah, go, 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 ah, go, 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 right? So here we go. It's a very nice car, this. Oh, look at that beetle. Convertible as well, and they haven't got the roof down. Dear me, that's terrible, isn't it, really? We can't sit here all day, so we've got places to go, people to see. So, yeah, and it's quite quick, you know, it's actually very punchy. It's a 1.5, but my God almighty, it's got some, got some, some girth. It really has. It doesn't uh, hang about whatsoever. My son's looking at me and smiling. What's the matter? <laughs> I don't know. Locking wheel nuts in there. I couldn't tell you if there's two keys. I think there is, but I can't be certain. There's PC plod. Better behave ourselves, haven't we? Um, so we're going back now. All the gears work. No nasty sounds. No nasty crunches. No nasty nurse. No smoke. Absolutely as you'd expect it to be. And um, it'll obviously come fully serviced. We don't just do an oil change and a bucket of water over it. God, no. We do oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, diff, antifreeze, screen wash, obviously, onboard computer diagnosis, reset the system, yada, 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 loads and loads and loads of crazy things are done that cost an absolute fortune. And I'm still having to put up with this dusty, uh, bloody car park area, which I really would like to be tarmacked, but cost of it it's like a hundred thousand pounds which is ridiculous isn't it let's be honest right so there we go okay thank you very much